Okay, this is uh, MNT 172, and uh, we're going to go over lesson four on the uh, bosine homework. This is section 6.2. And um, on the homework, it uh, starts off with a balloon. And in this balloon, it um, sees two, the balloon sees two mile markers. Down the road. And that's all it tells you, other than the fact that the angles of depression are uh, 20 and 22. Well, you have to, in order for you to get an angle of depression, you have to have a horizontal. And the angle of depression is going to be from the horizontal to the line of sight. So here we have 20 degrees. And if that angle is 20 degrees, then because of parallel lines cut by transversal alternate interior angles are congruent, then this internal angle here is going to be 20 degrees. And the other angle, the other um, angle for the other mile marker is going to be 22 degrees. Well, if that's 22 degrees, then the, this transversal here, the other angle is going to be 22 degrees as well. And we're trying to find the height of the balloon. And that's all they give us. Well, at this point, we know that these two mile markers are one mile apart. And we know that from this distance to this distance, we have some value. We don't know what that value is. But we basically, we have two triangles here. We have this internal triangle here, which I'll mark in green. And then we have this outer triangle. Well, if we mark this, we did, if we were to use tangent, we can use hypotenuse over this side, the space here, but we don't know what that is, so we'll call that x. So that means for this larger triangle, this base here would be 1 plus x. Okay, so we'll mark this other triangle in the red. Okay, so this is what we've got. We've got this larger triangle, if we were to look at it over here, this would be 1 plus x at 20 degrees. And we have this height h. Well, let's look at this smaller triangle first. Okay, we know that tangent would be opposite over adjacent. So we could say tangent 22 degrees. is equal to the hypotenuse over x. So if we were to solve for x, basically what we could do here is we could multiply both sides times x, multiply by x and both sides, and of course these x's would cancel. And we get x times tangent 22 degrees equals 2h. So if we were to divide both sides by tangent 22 degrees, we could get x is equal to h over tangent 22 
92 degrees. Well, what we're going to do here is we're going to find we have this x, and if we have here we're going to have for the other triangle, we've got tangent 20 degrees is equal to h over a, uh, 1 plus x. Well, the problem here is we've got two variables. We've got h and we got x. So what I did was we need h because we want to find that height. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve for x and substitute it into the other equation. Then we can solve for h. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to multiply both sides times, we're going to multiply out this denominator, 1 plus x, multiply the other side, 1 plus x, and of course these two are going to cancel. And we get h, e move this over. h equals to tangent uh, 20 times 1 plus x. 1 plus x in parentheses times tangent. 20 degrees. So what we can do now here is we can solve for x. We can divide both sides by tangent 20. Divide by tangent 20. And we get, of course, these two cancel. We get 1 plus x equals to h over tangent 20 degrees. Okay, we're still trying to solve for x, so if we subtracted 1, apply to minus 1, minus 1 to both sides, and we get x equals to h over tangent 20 degrees minus 1. Well, this is x equals to h over tangent 22, so what we're going to do...